Hello everyone, it's me, Traveler Lily, here back with another video. Um, but this time, it's not a book review, nor is it another tag, which, if you haven't seen my very first tag, um, you can check that out. Um, so yeah, I'll leave my link to the tag. In the description below if you want to check out my very first ever tag, the whip it or ship it tag. Um, so yeah, today I'm coming with a book haul. Today, another book haul. Yeah, um, I only have done two, I think, ever on this channel. So I decided to come with another one for you guys here today. Um, so yeah, um, I've not done a book haul in a while. I think last time was, I think, December of last year. Um, was the last time. And I think I got a few books here that I need to check out. I don't think. To show you guys, yeah, I don't think Yeah, I know I'm doing this while I'm filming, but yeah. Yeah, so I did the fun filming. I'll tell you all the books I've forgotten about. But I'll show you. But yeah. Um. Let's see. I know. And yeah. I think that's about it. I think that's about it for all the books I was gonna, I'm gonna show you guys. Um, is it that big? No. Actually, yeah, I do. That's a lot, you know. Um, okay, no, I do, yeah. Let's read it, yeah. So I got a whole bunch of books to show you guys here today. Um, I know I'm pulling out books from the bookshelf, and you guys might think, oh yeah, you just took off books from your bookshelf to make it look like the new, but to be honest, some of them are new. Um, I just haven't gotten around to reading them, or I just haven't been book haul about any of these books previously before, so that's probably why. Um, so yeah, on with the video, guys. I know the intro is kind of like almost three minutes long, and I bet you guys are now expecting me to the books, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna proceed. So, enough of me talking, let's get on with it. Okay. The first book I got was The Upside of Unquieted by Becky Abertali. This book I got a while ago. It's one of the few I got that I got a while ago. Um, so, yeah. Um, I feel like this book, but I have heard good things about it, and I know a little bit about what's what it's about, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I have not read Simon vs. the Ho Homo Sapiens Agenda. I've not read that book, nor, like I said, I've read this book. So I'm going in only knowing a little bit of what I've heard about this book. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I know that there was a lot of hype surrounding this book, as was there's going to be Great, I think. Another book? No, a couple. Of, no. Me about three other books that I have. Well, I have a lot of hype to it, but, um. Yeah, can't wait to read it. The next two are part of a trilogy called the P Miss Perigene's Pir Home for Particular Children trilogy. And the first one I have here is Hollow City, and the next one is Library of Souls. Um, I've not read these two yet. As well, the reason why I'm doing these two together is because, like I said, the part of the same trilogy. I think by this point you kind of already know what they're about. Um, sorry if I'm not entirely in the frame. It's because I got a whole bunch of books here, and it's kind of hard to, you know, do, show myself and show the books at the same time. So, give me. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to read these. Hopefully, when I get the chance to, and. Yeah, um, I've heard mixed reviews about these. Like, I know some people like 
um, you know, so I went black, it, it went black for myself for a second. Um, I know some people don't like the series, this trilogy, and some people do. Um, for me person personally, I enjoyed the first book out of this trilogy, and I hope you enjoyed the next two. So, yeah. The next book. Oh gosh. Has there been a lot of hype and a lot of praise for this book? And this book, I'm sure you guys have all probably heard about it at this point and probably read it. And it's Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. And it's book two in the Dark Artifices series. And um, I started reading it, but I've not yet finished it. Um, but like I said, I have noticed there's been a lot of hype surrounding this book and a lot of praise for this book and how good it is and how it's supposedly better than Lady Midnight and how Cassandra Clare's books are getting better and better with each book that she writes. So, um, I definitely can't wait to finish this book and share my thoughts on it. I mean, so far I'm enjoying it and I hope I enjoy it through the rest of the book too. So, yeah. Next book has quite a bit of hype to it, and I feel like a lot of people have forgotten about this book since Lord of Shadows has come out, and everyone's been talking about Lord of Shadows and whatever, you know. And this book is Flame in the Mist by Renee Alge. Alge? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, yeah. This book is basically, it's kind of like a Mulan retelling of sorts-ish. Um, but it's about this girl named Mariko who goes off to marry some, this guy, this prince, I think, or whatever, this clan. I don't really know too much about it, except it's kind of like Mulan. Um, and that she basically, basically her caravan gets attacked and she had assassination assassination attempt on her, but she obviously lives and she goes undercover um, into the Black Clan and um, basically wants to take revenge. And so that's basically all I know about it. So I hope to read this at some point as well and enjoy it. And hope is, and I hope it's as good. As I heard a couple people talking about this book, I hope it's as good as to say. So, yeah. uh, next one is Eleanor and Pike. I have read and oh, I'm black for myself again. Um, I have read and finished this book a while ago. I finished this, I believe, a couple months ago, I think. Um, but I've, yeah, I definitely enjoyed this book. Um, I've definitely heard, um, Good things about it, that's for sure. I haven't really heard anything bad about Eleanor and Park by Ram Wow. Um, oh yeah, and I did do a review on this book um, about a couple weeks ago. Um, if you have not seen it, I'll leave that in the description below as well. Um, and I just and so if you want to hear me go into more in detail depth about this book, then check out the Eleanor and Park book review on my channel. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, next book I got is The Inexplicable Logic of My Life um, by Benjamin Olive. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but yeah. This book. Um, I, again, I've heard good things about this book. I haven't really heard anything negative about it yet. Um, I don't know t too much about it um, as well. All I know it's about this kid who was adopted into this um, Hispanic family and is basically coming the challenges of face of dealing with that and all that. So I don't really know too much about it. Um, so yeah, I will get back to you on that as well on this book on what my thoughts are and if I enjoyed it or not. So. Yeah, next book. 
next book is I Will Always Write Back, How One Letter Changed Two Lives. Um, this book, I got recently as well. Um, I have finished and read it, and I actually literally read this, like, in two days. I literally read this in two days, the day I got it. And I just was hooked. I started reading it the day I got it. I finished it, like, the next day. <laughs> That's how good it was. Um, I Will Always Write Back is based on a true story about two people who lived in two different countries from each other, and... Um, they became, they become pen pals, and they basically, over the course of, like, six years, exchanged letters, and how it changed their lives, and that's all I can really say without spoiling, um, a lot of the book and stuff. Um, I definitely gave it a, um, five point, no, no, not five point five. Five stars out of five stars. Five out of five stars. Um, for this book, that's how good it was. Um, it definitely deals with topics of um, third world countries and um, poverty in third world co in in third world co in like third world con in a third world country, Africa. So you can't tell on the cover in Africa. Um, and how. Um, how people deal with that, you know, in a third world country, and how we take stuff for granted, and all that, and that's all I can really say without going into full detail of the book, and again, spoiling it for a lot of you guys, so I would highly recommend this book to anyone who wants to read it, and I definitely think it not only connects, um, back then, back when when this started, it was in 1997, up to present day, um, up until present day, so yeah, it, yeah, it definitely works with how we deal with third world countries back then, up until now, so, yeah, I would highly recommend anyone who is into reading about, um, a story of how one act of kindness can change a person or change two people or whatever you know and I would highly recommend anyone who's into this sort of thing and I just definitely think it works well now with today's society and how um, we just need to help each other you know a lot more often you know and especially in third world countries too you know because there's not a lot of stuff you know so people might have know that we take for granted so definitely I really recommend this book anyway next book is oh I went black myself there again it keeps going keeps fading to black because it thinks I'm not using it for a while but I am that's why it keeps saying it goes to black a lot so because it keeps my computer keeps going to black and showing me obviously nothing because since I'm not using it, like I said, again, um, though I am, even though I am, so if you, if you see me keep saying it's going black again, it's only because it thinks I'm not using it, you know, I am technically recording, so, yeah, and the next book is The Star Touched Queen, um, again, I've heard good things about this book as well, um, again, I've not heard anything negative about it, um, whatsoever, um, so, yeah, I would definitely will want to check it out at some point as well. And, yeah, it definitely seems like it got it got a good review from Sarah J. Mass. I have not read any of Sarah J. Mass's books. I have heard of a series, A Court of, um, um, what is it? Thorns and Roses. Yeah, Thorns and Roses. That's what it was. A Court of Thorns and Roses. Um, I have heard of that series, but I have never read it. I've heard good things about those, um, books, and a bit of negativity about the third one. Um, but I have never read A Court of Thorns and Roses series before. So, I'm sure a lot of you in the comments are probably gonna be like, Oh my gosh, you should totally read those books. 
Um, I will, just probably in the future. Just because I got so many books I have to read still. And that I'll probably need to, you know, start and finish and, you know, all that. So I probably won't get those books until way later in the future. You know, at some point. So, yeah. But I will definitely check those out once I have the chance. So, yeah. The next book. Um, next book is... The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, and oh my gosh, I've heard so much hype about this book since it came out, I think, a couple, a few weeks ago, and I've heard nothing but good things about it. I heard it was comical and really funny and all that, um, um, yeah, so I've heard a lot of good things about it, um, so far I haven't really heard anything negative, like I said, I've been hearing a lot of hype for this book since, like I said, it came out kind of not fully in the frame, so I got that, um, so yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about this book, um, so yeah, again, I only know a little, a little bit of what it's about due to summary and what I kind of heard from people and stuff, so I don't know a whole lot about it, um, so yeah, I can't wait to enjoy it, and can't wait to see if it lives up to the hype or not. So, like, so many others. So, yeah. Um, next book is The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey N N Yeah, something. Because it has a sticker on top, so I can't read the... Lost by the name, but... Um, the Time Traveler's Wife. I got this book at the book sale today that I went to today. Um, and this was one of the books I got, The Time Traveler's Wife. Um, I'm sure some of you guys may have heard it, may have, may have heard about it, because it was also turned into a movie as well, so there's a movie about it as well, so you might have maybe heard, heard the movie and maybe seen the movie of it, but just never known it was based upon a book. Um, I have seen the movie, and... Um, my mom says the book is really good as well, so I would definitely have to check it out at some point and read it. So, yeah, can't wait to see what my thoughts on, what my opinions are of it compared to the movie. So, yeah. Next one I got is Tell Me Three Things by Julie Bo Boxroom. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I heard... Um, from the cashier that I got it from, that this is a good book, and that there's already another one out called, I think, What to Say Next, I believe. Um, um, yeah, but I haven't really heard too much about this book, um, whatsoever, so I don't really know what it's about as much. I mean, I know it's about, um, from what I read from the summary, it's about this girl who goes to move, not move, but live with her, like, dad and his, like, stepmom, no, not a stepmom, her stepmom and her son, um, yeah, yeah, with her stepbrother, and, um, she basically, um, meets someone, she basically, um, gets an email from somebody who hope, na hopes to navigate the, um, prep school there and all that, she doesn't know who it is, and, from there, I guess it gets hectic. So, um, yeah, I don't really know too much about it, um, other than that. So I can't wait to see how it is and see if it's good as the cashier who told me it was. Says it was. So yeah, anyway, moving on. Next one is, I'm sure a lot of you have heard, and probably seen the move to, and it is The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have either read this book already back when you were younger or um, seen the movie too. And, um, yeah, and I just loved the movie. I saw the movie, um, I think, a couple years ago, I think. Um, so, I definitely enjoyed the movie. 
though I can't wait to see how the book is and if it's truly good or not. So yeah, I can't wait to get back to you on that as well. Um, the next book is The Red, the Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan, author of the, I believe, Percy Jackson series. Um, I have not read the Percy Jackson series, but I have seen the first Percy Jackson movie, so I kind of know what the Percy Jackson series is a little bit about, but I have, but I still don't know what the entire series is about, because, again, I have not read the series whatsoever, um, at all. I know a lot of pe people, again, in the comments are going to say, you should totally check out the series. It's a good series, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be saying that, um, if you come across this video. So, um, yeah, I would have to definitely check this out and see how it is. Yeah. The next book I got is Alice in Wonderland. Um, yeah, I've seen the movie of Alice in Wonderland, and I knew there was a book. Oh, my foot fell asleep. So, yeah. Oh. Because I'm not using it in. My kids going to look like that. Um, yeah. I have seen, um, the Disney movie of Alice in Wonderland and the live action movies of Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. I have seen those. So, I definitely can't re wait to read Alice in Wonderland. So, yeah, can't wait to check it out. Um, the last book is The Night Circus. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. Um, I got this book because, um, again, I've heard good things about it. And um, I know it's um, a clockwork reader's favorite, one of her favorite books of all time. I watch her videos all the time, and in no, in no way is this an advertisement to um, say, oh yeah, she's better. I mean, actually, no. No, actually, no. It is, yeah, you should definitely check out her clockwork reader's videos. Um, she's amazing, and I think she's just definitely lovely. I've never met her, but she definitely seems like she's a really lovely person. Really nice person. You should definitely check out her videos. Um, yeah, and so I've heard nothing but good things about this book. And, um, we would definitely like to read it at some point. You know, once I read most of the books. Um, that I still have to read. Um, so yeah, I would definitely have to read some of these books and definitely go through all of them and just you know, read them. So, yeah. I would definitely have to read a lot of these books and just go through all, all of them. And so that's basically the entire um, pile of books that I got in the, for a while. Um, for for, uh, yeah, for basically, um, for these last few months is what I've gotten. Um, I will definitely try to get through most of them at some point after I finish most of the books that I've gotten from Christmas and my birthday. I still have to read those. I know it's been a few months, and I know I should have read most of them by now, but I need to, and so now i got a lot of books I need to read and finish, and all of that, so, yeah, I will definitely try to get back to you guys soon, um, I will hope to do another tag video, another book review video soon, you guys, um, as you might, oh, black for myself, um, as you might know, I, notice, I have been trying to upload more consistently now, um, the normal rather than waiting like a month or two or so to upload, so, um, yeah, and I know a lot of you guys have started school already and have probably been moving out and going off to college and all that. I'll be starting school next week, 
on Monday, so I will try to upload videos when I can. Um, so yeah, I'll try it, and I will get back to you guys hopefully soon. So, hope you guys all have a nice evening or day or whatever, and I will see you guys the next time on my channel. And don't forget to leave a like, and um, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. So, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye, guys.